it is the episode two of my village in a city life series and i'm super excited to bring you this labor of love super nut soup the village style yeah my name is siano ki so when you go to a local market there are two types of palm fruits that you're likely to see what we call the agri and the local i usually go in for the local but then i think some one or two agri found their way in here okay so this is what make the series a village life series because of the firewood yeah so i'm adding my turkey berries there are different names that we give to this fruit in ghana konsuswa gachori um, and i like however you call it <laughs> it's turkey berries so i cover bring to a bowl and i have this huge fish with me this fish beautiful people is really really big <laughs> and that is going to be one of my proteins for the soup so i am cutting it into my desirable sizes and then once i'm done i'm keeping this simple all i need for this because i'm smoking this is just salt so i'll sprinkle salt around my fish i'll give it a nice wash <clears throat> and then i'll place them in my colander so that all the water can drain completely while that is happening i'm going to check on my palm fruits and at this point the water had reduced drastically this is just a sign <laughs> that your palm fruit is cooked ready to be pounded so i took it off and the next thing i'm doing did, did you guess are you guessing right <laughs> yes i am coming to smoke my fish and I can say today authentically I am coming to smoke my fish <laughs> and guess what I have plantain growing in my backyard so I just took some of the leaves and then I covered the fish with it now I am going to pound my palm fruits now I have a video on how you can store your palm fruits for a very long time you can check it out if you want to if you don't have enough freezer space you may want to take all the kennels out but then if you have good space you can just pack it together with the kennels so i pounded this nicely and then i went ahead and checked on my fish i usually like to do this in the evening anytime i'm do cooking outside i want it to be in the evening so that you know i don't have any issues with house flies <laughs> so this went out finished smoking and this is the next day you know i prepped everything the night before I smoked this fresh chicken myself and I'll be sharing that in another video because I wouldn't want this to be too long so do check out for how I smoked this chicken and I'm cutting it into my desirable sizes and that will be my other protein for this soup now i'm going to give this a nice wash because i did this in my backyard with the firewood and the ash and everything there may be some particles on them here and there so i'm just washing them nicely okay make sure to watch out for the smoked chicken recipe now <clears throat> i'm adding some of the fish that i smoked as well i'm not using everything i'm just using and part of it and then i'll be adding that to my chicken and those are going to be my main protein for this soup if you're enjoying this video at this point don't forget to hit the thumbs up beautiful people so i have chopped some onions into small pieces small sizes so <laughs> however we call them and then i'm adding some salt just a little salt to this and then i'll cover it and let it steam now let's work on our palm fruit so as i mentioned i did this all i did all of this the night before i have packed about a um, to third of this into the freezer and this is one third of everything that i bought and so i kept this in the fridge mm -hmm, because it was 
I pondered it in the evening and I'm using it in the morning. But the ones that um, are left are actually in the freezer. I'll leave the link to that video how you can store your palm fruits for long <clears throat> in my description box so please check it out okay so i bought some water poured it over my palm fruit and traditionally this is what we do i'm just trying to take out all the methane how do you call methane bro for <laughs> all the chaps <laughs> yeah however you call it i'm just getting rid of that and yeah i'll just train um my my the shoes that came out from the palm fruit <laughs> okay so i'll strain that nicely in my wire mesh or my fine strainer <laughs> so i strain this nicely i like to use this type of strainer because it is able to trap everything you know the seeds from the turkey berries and all um alternatively you can just boil your palm fruit and then boil the turkey berry on the side and blend and add it to your soup but i'm going the traditional way so <laughs> i'll go with the flows i'm washing my kennels and i have a recipe guys on how you can make your palm kennel or your i will lie to you it is hard work <laughs> unless you just want to explore just go for it so i pounded my um my chaps again if there's a better name for this kindly let me know in my description it's sorry my comment session okay i remember growing up you can pound this like two or three times just to get the best of it but i pounded this one more time and then i am straining it now this is what I have. I'm just going ahead to check on my fish. Looking all nice. Looking all good. That's my fish. My smoked fish and my smoked chicken. <laughs> and I'll pour the soup over red. And then it is just going to do the business for us. <laughs> laughing so much in this video guys. Anyway. <laughs> I have this tomatoes here. And then I have the shallots, the shallots, beautiful people, makes a difference in my palm nut soup. I like, I like shallots in my palm nut soup. And this is called ujima, ujima, ujima in dangui. Like, that's, that's my language, you know. <laughs> it means something that smells so good. And this pepper in your soup, this yellow scotch bonnet pepper in your soup just takes it to a different level so the reason why I'm, I'm cooking this in a separate saucepan is because you know uh, because of the shallows they are very very tiny so if I put them in the large soup searching for them will be just cumbersome so yeah I put I took out the veggies um, and then I'm adding my um, garden eggs and okra I have blended you know the one that i bought on the side which is the tomatoes the pepper and the um what do you call it <laughs> the shallots yeah the shallots so i added some ginger to it i almost forgot so i added it to it blended and that is how come i'm straining because i added it a bit late and i want to be sure whether i didn't have pieces of it you know in my soup so i strained it and then this is it. I'll just let my soup simmer, add some shrimp powder in there, and then our soup is ready. Like, <laughs> so finally, I get to add some red scotch bonnet pepper for some nice fragrance and some heat as well. And beautiful people, ideally, would love to have this fufu bar. Hey girl was so tired <laughs> so i went in for a mutu and see smoking your chicken eh? before using it for your palm nut soup eh? charlie you should try it hope you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up and i'll see you again another stay safe bye